Hi, Dons. This is Mr. Sipple, and wanted to share some information with you about a class that I teach. It's called Pathway to Statistics, or just Path to Stats. And as you're thinking about what class, math class, you'd like to take in the fall, uh, just wanted to share some information with you to see if this would be uh, a class uh, that might be a good fit for you. So just a little bit of context. Uh, most colleges and universities, as you may or may not know, require three years of math, um, but do recommend a fourth year of math. And so we do offer quite a few different options at, at Aragon for a fourth year of math. One of those would be Path to Stats. Now, why would you take Path to Stats? Well, uh, this would be most, regardless of what you end up majoring in, uh, most people do have to take at least one college level statistics course. Um, for those majoring in, and I, and I put a bunch of different majors up here just as a sample, and there's more, um, that would need to take a college level stats class. Now, if you don't take a stats class in high school, when you get to college, you might feel a little blindsided about taking a class that you haven't really been exposed to at all. So the idea of this class is to give you a sneak peek or a preview of what that class would look like um, at the college level. Um, this class is not for those considering a STEM major. So though, even though those folks would still end up taking coursework in statistics, uh, it would be stats geared for those individuals. So uh, this course, uh, this class is, is designed more for these individuals um, that might be majoring in one of the majors that I've listed there for you. Um, of course, college majors requiring any level of statistics, well, it's a pretty long list. Um, so this shows you that regardless of what you plan on studying in college, you're probably going to have to take at least some level of statistics. Obviously, some more than others um, into greater depth and, and difficulty. Uh, but this gives you an idea of uh, different majors that would require at least some level of statistics. A lot of you probably have thought, you know, at some point in your, in your high school math career, and probably more than once, uh, what's the point of this stuff? Why do I have to learn this stuff? Who cares? Um, and a, a lot of workers um, wish kind of the, you kind of thought the same thing um, in thinking about, well, what do I wish I would have actually learned in high school math? You'll notice that a small number of people actually said, hey, I wish I had more algebra geometry. What you'll notice is that most people say that I would have liked to have had more exposure to statistics and data um, and use of spreadsheets. Um, and that's what we're, we're offering with this class. Um, but more than just thinking about college and career, um, we, you know, when you leave high school, we want you to be a well-rounded individual. We want you to be a well-informed consumer, a well-informed voter um, as you make decisions. Um, so one thing we, want you, we, we be able, want you to be able to do is find information and uh, sort the good from the bad. And so this is one of the things that um, taking a statistics course offers you um, is a little bit of practice at that skill. There's a lot of uh, conversation about fake news. Um, you see that on social media. Um, I wanted to use an example. The picture there is uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, this is an example of where people are allowed to have their opinions um, but they need facts to back up those opinions. So for instance, when I was in high school, a lot of people said, oh, these kids playing these violent video games, they're going to turn into mass murderers. Um, well, I, it, it, the data doesn't support that. In fact, FBI statistics show that violent crime among youth has decreased over time, not increased. And of course, we see that with the coronavirus and vaccines, um, a lot of people having kind of conspiracy theories around that. Um, so we want you to be an informed uh, consumer and, and voter um, and being able to sort out good data from bad data. Something else we want you to be able to do is, uh, whether you're reading a newspaper or article um, or looking at something online, uh, we want you to be able to interpret data from tables and charts. So whether that's looking at uh, coronavirus data, uh, whether that's looking at uh, how our global temperature is changing, how our Earth is warming, um, or that might be just close to home, looking at uh, crime statistics uh, in your neighborhood. We also want you to be able to visualize and present data to make an argument. So it's not enough just to get up and say, hey, I think we should do this or that. You have to be able to back up your arguments using data. Um, so this is another uh, argument for uh, why getting some exposure to this in high school is, is a good thing for you. Um, and that's whether you're, whether you're pitching something at work or you're having a conversation about politics or the economy, um, we use data to back up those opinions. Um, also, one thing we, that we do with the class is that we use Google Sheets uh, to help us with calculations and to visualize uh, the, the data. Um, so, and that might be something in your personal life, whether it's a budget and you're doing taxes, whether in a job, uh, spreadsheets are used for payroll, inventory. So these are all skills that translate to a lot of different places, both per personally and professionally. All right. So I wanted to think about uh, some questions that you might have. Um, one question might be, do I have to be good at math? The answer is 
Um, I, no. I, so if, if you're thinking about traditional algebra and geometry math, um, this is a different kind of math. So a lot of, I, I find that a lot of students that maybe haven't been successful in those traditional math courses do find success in this class. Um, how is this class different than AP stats? Well, we cover a lot of the same topics as AP stats, um, but we don't cover all of the topics that you would find in an AP stats course. Um, so therefore this class would not prepare you for the AP stats test. Um, however, again, it does prepare you for that first year, uh, statistics course that you would take in college. Um, and is this class good for college? Yes. So as we mentioned, this does satisfy the fourth year math requirement for UC and CSU schools. Um, and it does prepare you, gives you a nice little sneak peek for what you can expect to see at a college level statistics course. Um, please contact me if you have any questions. Again, my name is Mr. Sipple. There's my email address. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions uh, or any kind of thoughts that you want to share. Um, and that'll do it for me. So thank you for your time. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye. Uh,